Major scare in Australian boxing with Australia's interim world champion Tim Zhu bitten by a dog at the weekends and undergoing emergency surgery. It sounds bizarre, Tim. What happened? Oh, what can I say? Um, a little dog bite, I guess. <laughs> quite, I make it quite simple. Well, yeah. it's not a little dog bite. Oh, he, he got me pretty good, actually. Uh, but yeah, it was unexpected. Um, yeah, it just happened. <laughs> so what exactly happened? Where were you and, and oh, what I just, happened? Just, I visited my friend and uh, I guess the dog just, I don't know, it smelt me and just, it just went at it. Um, it wasn't bad. It was just, luckily it was just artificial. Uh, but yeah, he, he definitely didn't like me. <laughs> but you've got um, a lot of stitches. How many stitches? 20. 20? Somewhere between 20 and 26. <laughs> You're trying to play it down, clearly, but I've just seen, and I know you don't want to show the wound. Yeah. Um, firstly, why is that? Why don't you want to show? No, I just, I just want to, I'll show everyone after the fight. I'll show, I'll show everything after the fight. Right now, I'm in that mindset of, of fighting. Uh, this is just a little, little distraction, and, and it is what it is. That's what I keep saying. You were rushed to hospital though, and um, <laughs> you were put under and operated on. Um, what do you remember about the whole process of being taken to hospital, and, mm. and, and how worried were you when you could see what you could see? Oh, when I first saw it, I, I made, oh, I just wanted to be really, really cautious about everything, because I know with dogs, a lot of infections can happen, so I wanted to go straight to hospital, get it all, get it all sorted. Um, everything was sorted quite quickly, and I was worried at first, but then when I woke up the day after, I was I was all right. Uh, felt a bit a bit sore after, but the day after that, I was I was good. Monday, I was back in the gym training, which is you know quite a bit of a shock. But I was I was yeah. One day off, it was literally and I was good. Saturday, you were in the hospital at St Vincent's in Sydney. Um, you yeah. just told me a funny story about what yeah. you could hear on the TVs. Yeah, it was funny. I was I was in my operating bed and. Uh, getting ready to to go into surgery and uh, all I hear in the background is someone watching KO and uh, a little ad comes up Tim Zhu fighting in the, in the Gold Coast and I just said to the nurse I was like Tim Zhu's not fighting in Gold Coast <laughs> at this moment of time <laughs> so you knew it was serious because you could see the extent of the wound can you describe the wound to us I was just a bit of fat I could see uh, a bit of blood. Just a uh, bit of fat. You can see your fat coming out of a hole I was, in your I was, I was hanging on to it. So I was hanging the two, two pieces of meat together. So it was all good. Um, whose dog was it? Oh, my mate's. <laughs> Is he I still your mate? <laughs> He's still my mate. Okay. You know, these things happen. Well, well, it's, it's a dog, you know. Well, you, can't, you can't expect it. Uh, I was ready for round two, actually. I called my mate up and I'm like, we've got to get the dog back, man, round two. <laughs> <laughs> Where was uh, your French bulldog Pablo there to protect you? You needed him. Man, my my Frenchie is a little softy, so that wouldn't have helped. <laughs> he would have probably got eaten alive. So, uh, but yeah, it would have been good for for a bit of a a good companion, Pablo. Um, so you're back training. You were back training on the Monday yeah. after the operation on the Saturday night. Yeah. Quite incredibly. Um, any restrictions on your movement given where mm. uh, this wound is and it's right across yeah. um, the inside of your elbow yeah no it's it's not too bad I've, I've tried to just take it a uh, a bit easy with the punching uh, but I'll be sparring my last week next week so I'll be back into it anyway so um, whatever whatever that's the thing with life whatever you're given you just have to find a, a way to figure it out so you'll be sparring once the stitches come out? Yeah. You, you can't spar with stitches in, I assume? No, I, I can. I can. I uh, just don't want to rip anything open at this moment in time. And do you think it's going to have any further impact once the stitches come out, once you're back into things? Uh, do you think you're going to have to do anything different in the preparation for this fight, given the injury? We're nearly there. We're like two, two and a half weeks out, so we're nearly there. I'll have a nice little scar at the fight, so... Uh, nothing, nothing changes, eh? I just... Just got to stay sharp. Uh, I'll be good. A number of fighters have pulled out <coughs> of fights with you for different reasons, yeah. an array of reasons. Um, yeah. Is there any part of you that's trying to prove a point uh, about all that by surging ahead, not delaying at all? You know what? I've, I've been dealt... I haven't 
told many people, but I've been dealt with a lot of injuries in my career. And for example, I had a broken hand leading up to my first fight with, uh, in my first year with Wade Ryan. Uh, I should have pulled out, but I didn't. Uh, leading up to the Charlo, I had a, probably a torn shoulder. I didn't say nothing. I just kept going away, kept going along with it and just got on with it, you know? Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, when you're dealt with uh, circumstances, you gotta just uh, deal with it, find a way. I know you really didn't want this to come out. Um, and do you think it gives a campo what some self belief? Uh, do you think it gives him a target to no, aim at? No, he's, he's got a he's got a pit bull in me right now that's going to come out. And uh, as I said, I was ready for round two with the dog. Poor campo, because he's I'm coming for for every round for him. It's funny that you did make those um, pit bull analogies quite a number of times uh, when we were talking on the Gold Coast. I was actually thinking about it. You know, I was like. This is going to be a pit bull versus pit bull fight, and then fuck, when I went, when I got in with an actual pit bull, I sort of had to defend myself. But I'm ready. I'm ready for round two. <laughs> well, we're very pleased that things are okay. Um, any message to Australia? Because people were very concerned. Yeah. You would have seen how worried people were um, just um, when they read or heard yeah, the news. Yeah. Australia, thank you for the support for the wonderful messages. But I said it yesterday on my social media. I'm good. Uh, this has not affected me at all. It's one weekend, it sort of didn't let me rest, which, which I wanted to go for a nice sauna, massage, a nice little recovery, but I was uh, stuck in a, in, a, in a surgery bed. Uh, but yeah, we're all good. The road to Undisputed, as I said before, continues and uh, nothing will stop me until I get those belts. All right, Tim, well, uh, great to see that you're okay and um, looking forward to seeing you go through some, um, some work here <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and how that all goes and we'll see you on the Gold Coast.